Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Uncover the simplicity of linking your Twitter account to this card in just a few minutes. This quick guide walks you through the steps enhancing your Discord experience by seamlessly integrating your Twitter updates and notifications. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So guys, when we are talking about connecting Discord with Twitter, it is not that complicated at all. And let me show you as an example on how does it look like to have Twitter or any other account that social media exists uh, connected to Discord will look like. So here, for example, I am on like mid journey. So simply I'm going to click on view profile and here in the bottom of your profile, as you can see, or this guy profile, here we have the Twitter, which is X. This is his name, how many posts he got, how many followers and members since uh, April exists, etc. Same goes for GitHub and uh, Steam. So this is not only for those three, it could be applied for any other platform as let's say, for example, Facebook, YouTube, um, it could be like Epic Games, League of Legends, Valorant, anything that's uh, acceptable by Discord themselves. So to do so, what you'll have to do is to go simply to here to this section where you will find here your appearance. Uh, so here we'll find the appearance, notifications, stream mode, and advanced and stuff like that. So here you'll literally find every single thing that is basically actually added to your profile. So these are basically the settings of your uh, of your like Discord account. So basically here we have the connections. As you could see so what you want to do is to scroll in here and basically these are the uh, accepted apps that you can connect to there is PayPal there is reddit there is steam TikTok, X which is Twitter in our case eBay Crunchyroll uh, PlayStation Xbox uh, there is Blizzard uh, there's domain. What is this? Oh, you can add your domain basically. Uh, there is also like Epic Games, Facebook, GitHub, um, Instagram, L uh, League of Legends, Riot Games, Twitch, YouTube, and Spotify. In our case, guys, we want to add Twitter, which is X. So simply click on X, just like that. And what will happen is they will redirect you to this page as you can see. So they will show you this page on Twitter. So what you'd have to do is to click simply on authorize app. And as you can see here, they will literally just simply connect your X account to Discord. So now, as you can see, uh, it is basically shown uh, here. They will show them how many posts I've got. So I have like, for example, 15 posts, zero followers and members since January 6th of 20, uh, 2019. You can display on profile or keep it secret so you can for example hide it when you want and show it when you want you can even display details on profile so the like the posts and followers you can decide if you want to show them or not let's check how it would be looking like so let me just click here go here click on my profile and here it is so this is how it looks like now verified connection and now let's go back to connections and let's try to do something like that. Yeah, let's keep it like so. And now, uh, like basically, if I clicked on here, they will take me to my Twitter account. Uh, they will show me everything that simply I would like to see. Uh, the thing is, you can't really see if it is hidden or not since you are the owner of the account. Let's try it out. Uh, here we go. Yeah, uh, you can't really hide it from yourself since you are the owner of the account. Uh, the only thing that you could do is to actually remove it, disconnect, and just like that, it would be removed from your own Discord account. So this is very easy thing to do. Uh, it's not that complicated. You can redo that on every single uh, app that we talked about at the beginning of this video. So as you can see here, let me just go again and show you again, for example, on another app. So here we have like, as an example, we have uh, Facebook. So we can go ahead, go to Facebook, click on continue and literally the same thing. So here they would ask us if you want to continue, just continue as the account that I'm using at the moment. 
and then they will literally just connect it it is very easy uh, it takes seconds not even minutes to actually do it and to finish with it in the first place so here as you could see let me just show you here it is this card and if I want to my profile now it doesn't exist so let's go to connections again show and here it will be shown so let me just refresh um, go to connections yep here we go so here this is my account basically display on profile second advice through this card and other stuff that we would enjoy in this uh, thing so basically don't add a lot of sp uh, like stuff to your profile or less they will not be able to show in here if you add like over and over and over again you remove and add remove and add it could be a little bit glitchy so put that in mind but otherwise this is basically the way on connecting not only twitter not only facebook but all of these apps that you have seen in this video to your own discord account uh, you can make sure here just to click to display profile uh, to hide to show anything that you are interested in it will be literally uh, like controlled and the parameters are basically in the connection section which is headed in the user settings right over here um, once again let me just check this out so here it is it has been added so this is the name of my facebook the verified connection so the verified connection so both are verified nothing is wrong with them you can go big and let's go to one of like the moderators um let's go for example here yeah, let's go here. I want like the moderator. Yeah, here moderator. So here, as you can see, uh, some people would have like dozens and dozens of stuff added. Not only like X and Spotify. I'm looking for some profiles that has like literally everything, but I couldn't find them. Uh, it would be really interesting. But yeah, there is a lot of people that are really obsessed with adding everything that they have on social media from their social media accounts in here. And yeah, uh, I couldn't really find an account that has everything. But in general, people only add like their uh, most important stuff as X, as Spotify, if you play League, if you want to like people to add your League of Legends you can add League of Legends there uh, there is not Valorant at the moment yet but yeah there is the Riot Games ID which is now made in public for everyone so you can add people through the Riot Games ID in case you were interested and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and make sure to read all of your comments especially about this video it's very easy so I will just simply answer all of your comments guys and and make sure to answer all of your questions to make sure you have got the idea and the total information. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.